Recently I've been constructing and designing a binary adding machine uh, made of relays. It is eight individual binary adding circuits which can add two bits and produce a carry if necessary. Uh, they, eight of these are concatenated in order to create uh, an eight bit adding machine with a ninth bit acting as the carry. Um, this is constructed for visual purposes to understand something that's usually quite conceptual, but it's in order to um, provide a more hands-on tactile approach. I have a lot of interest in showing computer science and hardware fundamentals in tactile and hands-on devices so that these concepts can be better understood. Here's an example of a hexadecimal trainer, which ultimately uses an old HP device which takes four binary bits in and produces the resulting hex value on the output. So this is the DIY binary calculator. Um, it can calculate two add-ins which result in a number up to 255. Uh, greater than that the carry light turns on. But if you consider the carry light a ninth bit, uh, then you can ultimately calculate up to 510. So we see the yellow line here represents the carry that is um, coming from the preceding board and it is stored in the next um, calculator so that the preceding result is capable of being concatenated with the other bits. Um, this whole machine runs on 5 volts. Relays are kind of uh, current heavy so I put this little heavy duty 10 amp 5 volt supply up here. I think the whole thing's when all the relays are activated. Um, still just pulls 3 amps, but it's good to have headroom. And I built it as a learning tool ultimately because I work in a school and I thought it would be interesting in a fundamental way to just be able to see how machines add numbers. Just understanding the concept of uh, binary is a whole lengthy process, especially when one spends their whole time in the decimal system. So I just thought this was a really hands-on way of achieving that. And especially since I have access to a laser cutter, which helps me create these really neat panels, I uh, tried to go for like a museum style um, placard here that explains the machine. I even broke down uh, the bits into their exponent values and then also their decimal equivalents on the top. And then it just allows me to really um, denote the everything that's going on in the machine really well. I labeled each logic bit that is responsible for doing that bit's logic. But, and then down here, not to be forgotten either, is um, because I do work with uh, younger kids, ultimately it's important to be able to see the decimal really quickly. I created this Arduino Nano um, binary to decimal converter, which simply takes the bit values that are on the uh, sum bus here and determines what they are, whether they're high or low, and it outputs the result in binary and then decodes it back to, de to decimal. Um, that's all this does. It's a little uh, OLED screen, an Arduino Nano, and eight input, but eight input bits. So let's do a little math. Uh, let's say we wanted to add one plus one. We put one in the add in A column, and a row, excuse me, and then one in the add in B column, and we see that one plus one carried the bit to the second bit. So that's functional. Um, let's say we want to do 128 plus two. Uh, ultimately we get the result is 130 in binary, but also labeled here is 130 in decimal, just to make sure that we get it. And then if we wanted to add something that it cannot conceive of, we do 128 plus 128, which is 256. That's one uh, digit over in decimal, what it's capable of representing. But one knows that if one is offered nine bits, that the ninth bit represents 256. So technically it's doing the math, but I represent it as a carry so that this is just an 8-bit calculator. But let's just carry it all the way out and continue to add 255 plus 255, which is 510, which is technically represented here if one considers the carry bit as a ninth bit. Uh, so further math is 
possible. And I denoted that as a bonus feature because I really wanted to just stick to the idea of this is how 8 bits are calculated. Um, and then what the notion of a carry even is in binary. But yeah, so that pretty much sums up the machine. It's very simple, but I just really love the idea of doing, elect doing it electromechanically with all these relays. It's my feeling that introducing these concepts early and in a very distilled and approachable manner like this can help to foster greater understanding when one enters more advanced coding uh, classes or when one wants to understand more clearly how hardware works, um, especially in the computing world. I know for me personally, one of my aha moments was understanding finally the way binary digits can be manipulated through shifting or uh, two's complement or various things like that in order to achieve um, mathematical results inside of a, a microprocessor, for example. And ultimately that all the things that occur in a microprocessor is merely the shifting of bits. This machine is so fundamental as to provide a hands-on, early, tactile understanding of bit manipulation, as this machine can only add. Conrad Zusa is one of my favorite historical figures in the history of computing, and I think he was well ahead of his time considering uh, relays as uh, calculating devices in the uh, early 1900s. And his computer was um, one of the first feasible mechanical computational devices that could achieve complex calculations. And this is inspired by that kind of uh, thinking. But the implementation was fun. Constructing something that's physical and that you can touch, which is usually uh, experienced only in a digital realm, uh, you know, trying to conceive of it conceptually is beneficial, I think, especially for young learners who really have only ever dealt in the decimal system. And so that is the uh, sum of parts here. And yeah, thank you so much for checking out this build.